In this video, we're going to be looking at evaluating trigonometric functions. And so we can use reference angles and the special values of angles that we learned about before to actually evaluate trigonometric functions. And there's going to be three basic steps that we do. Our first step is to find the reference angle uh, theta prime, just like what we did in the previous video. The next step is we're going to evaluate the trigonometric function for theta prime. And so we're going to start with, like for instance, this tangent of negative 240. We're going to start with that, but we're going to find that reference angle and replace that negative 240 with that reference angle. And then we evaluate it for that. And then our last step is we need to determine the sign of the trigonometric value from the quadrant in which theta lies. And so we're going to go ahead and fill this out. So for quadrant one, all of the trig functions are going to be positive. So sine of theta, um, cosecant of theta, it's going to be positive. Cosine of theta, secant theta, is going to be positive and tangent theta, cotangent of theta is also going to be positive. Now when we go to quadrant two, we're going to see some different signs that pop up. So sine of theta and cosecant of theta, they're still going to be positive, but now the next four are going to be negative. So it's really important when we're drawing that reference angle and the others that we determine what quadrant our angle lies in. Now for the next one, we are going to flip flop some of these. So for quadrant th three, sine of theta and cosecant of theta is gonna be negative. Cosine of theta, secant of theta is also gonna be negative. And because of that, tangent of theta and cotangent of theta be positive. And then for this last one, sine of theta, cosecant of theta will be negative, cosine of theta, secant of theta will be positive, tangent of theta, cotangent of theta will be negative. So let's go ahead and look at some examples of evaluating these trig functions. So we're going to evaluate the function without using a calculator. So first one, I have tangent of negative 240. So my first step is I need to find the reference angle of negative 240. However, we learned that our angle to find the reference angle has to be in these specific ranges. So this is a negative angle. So I'm going to first find its coterminal angle. And I'm going to do that by adding 360. So negative 240 plus 360. And I get 120 degrees. So drawing that coterminal angle, 90, 180 degrees, 270, and 360, see that 120 is going to be between 90 and 180. So that means that my reference angle is going to be in quadrant 2. So looking at quadrant 2, we see that that um, equation is going to be theta prime is equal to 180 minus theta. So I have theta prime is equal to 180 minus theta. So I have 180 minus 120 to get that theta prime is equal to 60 degrees. So I have that. Now I need to evaluate the trig function for theta prime. And so this tells me that tangent of negative 240 degrees is equal to tangent of 60 degrees. And because this is in quadrant two, I need to look at the sine of it. And I see that for a tangent, the sine is negative. So this is actually gonna be negative tangent of 60. And now we need to look back at our special values for our trig functions at those angles. And so I 
recopied this. This was in your special triangles lesson. I recopied it here for easy access for you. And so if I go to tangent of theta and 60 degrees, I see that that is the square root of three. So the answer here is going to be negative square root of three. Okay, let's look at another one. So here I have cosecant of 17 pi over six. And so here I, again, I need to make sure when I find that reference angle that it is between pi over two and two pi. Well, if I do 17 divided by six, that is greater than two. So that means that I need to find a coterminal angle. And so to do that, I'm gonna do 17 pi over six minus two pi. Well, if I add, multiply six on top and bottom, that's the same thing as 12 pi over six, which gets me five pi over six. And now I'm going to draw that angle. Uh, pi over two, pi, three pi over two, and two pi. I see the five pi over six. Five six is not quite one, so it's going to be less than pi. However, this is going to be greater than one half pi, and so I see that my angle is going to be somewhere over here. So that means that my reference angle is going to be in quadrant two as well. And so theta prime then is going to equal to, when we go to quadrant two, that is pi minus theta. So it's going to be pi minus five pi over six. Or in other words, six pi over six minus five pi over six. So I get that theta prime is equal to pi over six. And now I can go ahead and evaluate my function. And so here I see that cosecant of 17 pi over six is going to equal to cosecant of pi over six. However, I need to see what my sign is for cosecant. And I see this is in quadrant two and cosecant is positive. So I'm good. And now I'm going to come to my chart and see what that is equal to. However, we see that this is all in degrees and not radians. And so just a quick note on what these are all equal to. If I did pi over six times 180 over pi, I would get that this is equal to 30 degrees. So 30 degrees is the same thing as pi over six. And just so you have this, 45 degrees, same thing as pi over 4, and 60 degrees, same thing as pi over 3. So I would write a note of that so you have that right here. So I have cosecant pi over 6, or in other words, cosecant of 30, and I see that that is equal to 2. Okay, let's look at two more. So here I have cosine of negative 210. So I need to first find the reference angle of negative 210. Negative 210 is not between 90 and 360, so I need to find a coterminal angle first. And to do that, I'm going to go ahead and add 360 to it. And so when I do 210, negative 210 plus 360, I get 150 degrees. So drawing that, that's going to be somewhere between 90 and 180. So it's going to be somewhere over here. And so I see that my reference angle is in quadrant 2. And so that means that theta prime is going to equal to 180 minus theta. So I have 180 minus 150. So I get that theta prime is equal to 30 degrees. And so that tells me that cosine of negative 210 degrees is equal to cosine of 30. However, I need to look at the sine. So here I'm looking at cosine and it's in the second quadrant. And so that means that it's going to be negative. 
And so going down my chart, cosine of 30 degrees is square root of 3 over 2. So the answer is negative square root of 3 over 2. For this last problem, we're going to be looking at finding secant of 5 pi over 4. So 5 pi over 4, I see that that is between pi over 2 and 2 pi, because 5 pi over 4 is just a little bit over pi, because pi is the same thing as 4 pi over 4. So we're good there. So I'm going to go ahead and draw 5 pi over 4. So again, 5 pi over 4, that's just a little bit over pi. And so that means that my angle is going to be somewhere over here for my terminal side. And so that means that my reference angle here is going to be in the third quadrant. And so that means that theta prime is going to equal to theta minus Pi. And so I have 5 pi over 4 minus pi, which is going to get me pi over 4. And so that tells me that secant of 5 pi over 4 is equal to secant of pi over 4. And I need to look at what my sign is. And so if I go up here to quadrant 3, I see that for secant in quadrant three, that's gonna be negative. So this is actually gonna be negative secant of pi over four. And so going down to my table here, I know that pi over four is equal to 45 degrees. And so that means that secant of pi over four is gonna be square root of two. And so I get my answer of negative square root of two.